Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a review of 3D Solitec uh, PLA filament. Uh, I got this filament as a gift from Ron, the happy extruder, uh, last year and uh, I decided to try, uh, try it out with several test prints and, and some landscape models. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is, is from 3D Solitech uh, and there's a clear uh, natural uh, color uh, uh, one kilo spool I got uh, from Ron the happy extruder he sent me this as a gift when I was starting my YouTube channel and this review is just my opinion I was not contacted by uh, Solitech before this review or have gotten anything from them in return for this review, so those are just my thoughts on the filament I, I got. So, uh, firstly, this filament is a pretty standard PLA in regard of printing temperature and settings. I printed out uh, a temperature tower and, and found that 205 degrees printed out pretty good and uh, had a little bit of stringing at higher temperatures, but at 205 uh, it was quite good. So the rest of the prints uh, beside the temperature tower were done in, in 205 degrees. I printed out the temperature tower and I had this uh, strange issue here, but I don't know what happened. But other than that, it uh, came out really good and it's very good layer adhesion. I had a very difficult time breaking this apart. And uh, so it's a very strong uh, layer bonding with this filament even at uh, 205 degrees uh, I printed out uh, several uh, tests like this bridging test and uh, it came out pretty good uh, there's a tiny amount of, of drooping on this largest bridge but uh, other than that it came out pretty good uh, <coughs> the stringing test I had got at 200 10 degrees, uh, quite a high number of strings issues, but uh, the print quality was good on the print itself. Uh, I lowered the temperature at 205 degrees, and uh, there's a tiny amount of stringing, and but not a, not an issue anymore. So at, at uh, 205 degrees, I was happy with this filament. I printed out uh, uh, overhang test and. I did two of them. This one was uh, facing like uh, this was facing backwards from the uh, blower fan or the part cooling fan. So uh, there's a little bit of surface issues here, but on the print that was facing towards the fan, the, the print uh, even at 70 degrees came out absolutely perfect. There's absolutely no issues, uh, the surface finish on the on all the sides are, are very good, so uh, I had no issues uh, printing this at, at 70 degrees uh, and the blowing of the fan, part cooling fan from this direction here, so that uh, came out excellent. I <coughs> also printed out my maker coin and the thing with this filament as it is a clear filament the infill pattern shows through the surface, so for a part like this it looks kind of funny to see the, the infill coming through, but uh, I guess if, if you're gonna paint the prints uh, with this filament it won't matter, but it's uh, like for this maker coin it's not very good looking because of the infill is showing through, but uh, the print quality is, is quite good though. And, and the letters uh, came out pretty good. It's maybe difficult to see in the camera because of its uh, clear nature, but it came out pretty good. <coughs> I also printed the Omnum model and that has a same pretty good quality all overall, uh, but the infill pattern shows through, so it looks kind of funny, but uh, if this will be painted, it won't be an issue, but the print quality is just very good, so it's not a, not an issue. So this Omnum came out very good. 
I also uh, printed out this test I do uh, and the uh, overhangs came out very good and there's a little bit of stringing uh, here in this pole but other than that it came out pretty good and uh, and bridging here I just broke it because this bridge is very very thin but the bridging on this part came out good so the, there was no issues printing with this I printed out a uh, Benchy also and that one came out excellent there's no uh, real issues in this Benchy just the funny look of the infill showing through but uh, other than that the print came out excellent so those were the test prints I did with this filament and one one last test I forgot to talk about was the new Maker's Muse tolerance uh, test and uh, in all cases it goes from 0 0.5 to 0 0.15 uh, it, in all cases uh, uh, it was uh, quite loose the 0 0.15 was uh, stuck but uh, just by pulling on the knob it came loose it snaps out of uh, and when it snapped out it is uh, quite okay so uh, uh, tolerances with this filament uh, came out very good I would say and this is the new Maker's Muse tolerance test that you can buy from his website on Gumroad so if you haven't done it already you should check out his, uh, his new design it's, uh, it doesn't require the old tool that the previous tolerance test did and it's a, a very nice design and, uh, and tests out your printer and, and filament settings uh, in regard of tight tolerances so so you can use this to tune in filament and, and printers so overall those uh, tests I did came out very good uh, I had a little bit of stringing at a higher temperature but that was easy, easy to fix and as you can see from the roll it's almost empty it's just a maybe two meter <laughs> left of filament on the roll and the reason for that that I've been printing out landscape models and um, I have uh, six models printed out um, and they're going to be painted and, and I'm going to send those out to YouTube channels that I uh, I have lined up. I have to make a painting job and, and video on, on painting those. But uh, for the for the print, prints itself, it's the same uh, look. It has the stripes of the infill pattern on it, so they look all kind of funny <laughs> and and painted. And as you can see, the the stripes are visible and especially in, on the back side there's uh, the infill pattern shows through but don't want to be an issue when I'm painted and I have uh, six models now in front of me that I have prepared and I'm gonna paint and do separate videos on, on those paint jobs and, and time lapses of the prints and, and the paint job but uh, I've basically finished the spool doing those landscape prints and, and that was uh, the intent uh, with this filament to use it on something I would paint and for that purpose it was giving me pretty good results and I basically had no issues with this filament uh, after I dialed in the, the temperature settings so I'm quite happy happy with this so as you can see I have several landscape models lined up and uh, I was printing those on my Prusam MK3 printer and it came out pretty good and uh, it's several uh, mountains and glaciers and areas around Iceland uh, that I uh, want, want to do paint and, and do videos on so those will be future video materials I don't have a time frame for all those but they will, they will come on the channel so my thoughts on this filament from uh, Solitec uh, is basically uh, pretty standard in regard of print settings on a PLA 202 degrees and uh, 205 degrees and the print quality was quite good and uh, layer adhesion is, is very good and it was quite difficult to break the test prints I did so uh, it's a very strong uh, uh, layer bonding at those temperatures so I'm quite happy with that 
um, <coughs> for the purpose uh, for the uh, landscape models it's a, uh, a very good choice I think for a filament to do something that you prepare to paint if you're not gonna paint it it looks uh, a little bit funny to see the infill pattern show through but uh, if you're gonna paint the model it doesn't matter so my final thoughts is basically I would uh, probably buy this filament uh, without uh, having any regrets <laughs> so uh, you can check it out at their website 3dsolutech.com uh, I don't have any affiliate links or anything and you can check out their website and see their options they have uh, quite a number of uh, colors and uh, filaments to choose from so for this video this will be this and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one